when we set out to establish the uh, the centre, uh, it was largely driven by our experiences um, in the disability um, system, as it, as you would call it that. Um, myself, I've been working in direct support, and when we asked about employment for clients, it was largely put down to, well, we don't do that sort of thing here. Um, you'll have to do it in your own time. And, and that's, you know, show the siloing of, of disability um, support in Australia. And yes, we'd had disability employment, you know, clearly from the 60s, if not before, and certainly since 1986 with the Disability Service Act, we'd had the establishment of, of what is now the disability service system, uh, or the disability employment system, sorry. And when you looked at it, in, outside of people that were involved in, in DEN or DES as it is now, it was a bit of a, well, does it really exist? So, you know, when we sat down and looked at this, um, probably close on 10 years ago now, we decided that if someone had to do something about it. We were, most of us had connections to universities and and they were largely not interested in, in researching disability employment, certainly not from the perspective of of improving outcomes, it was always focused at at health, um, the health benefits, etc., of employment, which is fine in itself. There's no issue of that type of research. But how do we improve outcomes if we don't improve the evidence base and improve practice? So that's what drove us to establish the centre. And at that time, um, I was connected overseas um, with people like Harry Griffin and his group, and I'd had the luxury of of working in their systems and still do today. Um, and that gave us insight into where the evidence base was growing overseas and also gave us great connections into the field of disability employment overseas. It's not that we were lacking those in Australia. I mean, most of us were uh, under the guise or rather under the guidance of uh, Trevor Parmenta. And Trevor often said to me that you could count the number of people researching uh, disability employment on the fingers on one hand, and you probably know them. And of course, when you've got to go one, two, three, four, five, six, you go, oh, actually I do. Um, so it was kind of funny. And, and that's what drove us to establish the centre. Um, it was to meet that need for a, a research centre focused solely on disability employment, focused solely on improving the evidence base. And as part of that process, it also meant that we had to change practice as well as policy. So we started focusing on training. We started adapting the US methodologies, uh, the evidence base from the US, particularly around customised employment and discovery. Uh, and we moved in that direction uh, to continue to grow and build the evidence base. And that's how we've arrived at where we are now uh, with the Centres College and its, its online training programs. And of course, our extensive research program that, that we're continuing and will continue to support and work on uh, into the years to come because without research, um, you really don't have the empirical evidence you need. And at the same time, if you don't have practice to inform research, uh, research is, is somewhat pointless. So there's a whole lot of circularity around doing research and practicing and training and, of course, working with organisations around change. So there's are the things that got us to where we are now that drove and continue to drive our mission forward.